you totally surprised baseball fans last night at City Field. You sung Take Me Out to the Ball Game. How did yeah. the crowd react? Oh, it was pretty fun. Yeah, we, we didn't tell anybody we were going out there, so uh, we had a few surprise fans that were out there for sure. <laughs> you like to surprise people. Didn't you recently surprise an elementary school I did. full of kids? Yeah, we went back to my, my home school back in Garden, North Carolina, and uh, they didn't know I was going, but they were singing one of my songs. So the chorus teacher reached out, and I was like, well, I'm going to be in town. So might as well go say hello. <laughs> That's got to be great. You never know where Scott McCreary is going to show up. No. Nope. You could be anywhere. And speaking of being all over the place, you'll be on tour with Rascal Flatts starting May 29th. How yeah. crazy is that tour going to be? It's going to be awesome. We're heading out next week or two weeks from now, something like that. And uh, they're great guys, great musicians, and, and great people. So I'm looking forward to it. Going to be a lot of fun and uh, a lot of golf as well. They're good golfers out there. You know, I'm going to get to golf in a second, but I, I mentioned you were a New England sports fan. So you're diehard Boston Red Sox. Did you cross reference the touring schedule? With the Red Sox schedule to see if you would be at any of the same oh, yes. cities at the same time. Oh yes, time. I'm going to be in in Boston the day they have a game in Fenway, so I'm going to reach out to uh, some people and see if we can score some seats. Yeah, something tells me you're going to be able to score a couple of seats. I sure there, hope Scotty. so. I sure hope so. <laughs> they might make you sing though. Hey, I'm game. If that's what it takes to to go to, uh, to Fenway, I'm game. <laughs> you have to sing for your seats. All right, you mentioned there's going to be a lot of golf on this tour. You're so lucky because you've gotten to play Augusta National huh. on several occasions. Sure. Have you figured the course out yet? You know, I played it a couple years ago before I really started taking the game seriously. I played baseball my whole life, so uh, I was still having the baseball swing. So now that baseball's done, I'm focusing more on golf. So I would like to get back, play it again now that I actually have a better swing. I wouldn't say good swing, but a better swing. We saw you were tweeting to Jordan Spieth, of course, the Masters champion yeah. from this past year. If you could ask him for any advice on your game, huh. what would you like him to help you tweak? Oh my goodness, everything? Uh, my putting right now is no good, so maybe he can point me out a, a few things. He looks at the hole and he puts, so maybe he can uh, teach me his ways. <laughs> Keep your eye on the ball, though. That's what they always tell That's you. That's what they say, but not Jordan, not the master champion this year. No. All right, we'll have to take it from him. You guys have something in common, you and Jordan, is that you've accomplished so much at such a young age. How do you keep so grounded despite all that you've achieved? Uh, you know, I try and keep a lot of family and friends close. I live with four friends I've had since I was, you know, two or three years old. So they don't really care about the whole music thing or anything. They've slapped me around like they used to. But, uh, you know, as long as you keep them close, you know, and not have a bunch of yes men around you, you know, it'll... It'll, it's, it's easy to uh, stay grounded in the world. Yeah, we saw when Spieth won, he had some of his buddies oh, who yeah. were there that he was hugging and high-fiving. Is Did you, watching that, kind of see what you have in your life where you have a great performance or something big happens and then your buddies are there? Yeah, it's always fun. You. It's fun to bring your buddies around and, and kind of bring them on for the ride. And I'll bring a second bus out for the, uh, for the summer, so just kind of bring family and friends out with me. So. They enjoy it when they can. Now that we're all a little older, uh, they have jobs and responsibilities too, so they can't come out as much as they used to, but we have fun. That is so nice of you. A second bus. Yeah. Well yeah, yeah. done, Scotty. All right, got to hit on the big news out of New England, and that's Deflate sure. Gate. Yeah, I can talk for hours on it, so I don't know how much time we got, but you ask away. We have time to get your thoughts. <laughs> the most recent is that Robert Kraft has said he's not going to fight this. He's going to accept the $1 million penalty. He's going to accept the draft picks, the docking of the draft picks. Were you surprised to hear the Patriots owner <laughs> relent? Uh, a little bit, you know, especially as, as stern as he's been, you know, over the last few days. He's a lot nicer than I would have been, but, you know, he's a... <laughs> He's a classy guy, and, and uh, so I'm glad to see, you know, just move on from it, and we'll see how we do. Well, Tom Brady's still going to fight this thing through the union. Has your opinion of Tom changed at all because of this? Not at all. Not at all. I mean, uh, in my opinion, uh, the quarterback's job is to get the ball from point A to point B, you know, uh, without point C, any of the defenders getting it. Uh, you know, and plenty of quarterbacks have spoke out and said, you know, it's not a big deal. I heard Brett Favre the other day was saying it's laughable. You know, every quarterback's doing something like that. Big Ben, if I recall, early on said he likes his balls overinflated. And Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Same. So, and that's just as illegal. So, <laughs> uh, you know, I think every quarterback's doing something to just to have a better feel. So, uh, yeah, he's still still my guy. Okay, spoken like a true Patriots fan, I would expect nothing less. Except, is this? Oh, Get yes. out of here. Oh, yes. <laughs> I didn't even know Look they made the Patriots cowboy boots. Straight from the Casey, babe. I love them. Yes. That is, are those one of a kind or can anyone buy those? Uh, well, you know, you have to go through the Casey, but uh, I, I special ordered them for, <laughs> for my stage boots. <laughs> Fantastic. That is something I never thought that I would hey, see. Why not? Why um, not?
one of the funniest things to come out of Deflategate amidst all the back and forth are the text messages between oh, these yeah. two locker room attendants. Yeah. When you saw those, I mean, even the most diehard New England fan has to laugh at these two guys, right? They're pretty funny. You know, it, it probably is rough for those guys because they probably never thought anybody would ever read them. So they're like, oh, geez, Louise. But uh, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty funny stuff.